So today I'm really excited because we're going to do Steph's brows and I'm going to show you and demonstrate on her exactly how I tint and shape. I like to keep the brows super soft and natural so I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step process and transform her already stunningly natural brows. Very natural. GBD exclusive. I'm going to start by defining Steph's brow. I'm going to take my brush and just brush it in upward motion just right through the brow. And then I'm going to start tinting. I love to tint the brows first because I get to pick up all those little hairs and really essentially make that brow look a lot fuller. I'm going to apply the tint. I've mixed a little special concoction for her. I like to keep my brows nice and natural. Once you wipe everything down and brush the hairs through, it'll soften up and look really natural. You can already see how much more defined the brows are and the color really makes her eye color look great. So let's get ready to shape. It feels like a tiny zipper along the brows. It's great. It's gonna pinch a little bit, but ultimately it's not going to hurt that badly and plus it is so fast. I'm gonna pick up my brow pencil again. As you can see, I use it a lot. Finish brushing through the hair and I'm going to tweeze out just a few hairs here just to get that arch just in place. And again, go very, very slowly here because less is more when you're tweezing out and I'm really just tweezing just to finish creating that beautiful arch for stuff. I tend not to go too much into the inner part of the brow. I'm going to define the brow with a little bit of pencil. This is perhaps one of the most important steps because even if you don't get a chance to have your brows done, the way that you fill them in can make them look exactly the way you intend to. Just start to go up and across the eyebrow and filling in the skin anywhere that I feel like tint hasn't covered. And what I like to do is always really focus on filling in the brow at the top of the brow because this is where you really create that height and you give that really open eye look. So I'm going to take the pencil and just finish in small strokes, just drawing it right through the eyebrow, thinking like it's you're drawing a coloring book. You wanna just fill in inside the lines and bringing it all the way down, not extending too far past that point. And you're gonna brush this right through. So this is really what's going to get that natural look and that feathered brow. Our last and final step is actually to apply a little bit of brow gel. This will set the brow in place and make sure that your brows don't move all day long. So taking the brow and I'm just going to just very gently wipe it over. If you don't have brow gel at home, you can always spray a little bit of hairspray onto the back of your brow brush. Steph, you look amazing.